Yeah, being a results-oriented man, probably both of us are like that. When you were first starting your coaching program, I bet it was kind of hard to be insanely convicted because you're like, hmm, I don't have that many like testimonials. The results are mainly, mainly maybe just me. <laughs> like I don't have that many other people. Like I'm kind of in that same boat at the moment. Like mm -hmm. I have this podcast where I've talked about my niche a lot, which is the quitting porn. I, I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying, I love what you're doing with this keep making videos on that so like i kind of have some sense of how helpful i might be in this dimension but like at the current moment i'm just about to start these sales calls and it's like hmm, i gotta be like you said quite convicted that yeah you're gonna make this decision and your life will change sure quitting porn is a very hard thing but it's gonna be a lot easier if you join this program because you're gonna be held accountable, not just to you, but to multiple other people along the same goal. And so I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm curious, the question now comes out is like, when you were first starting your program, how did you get that conviction? Mm. I think the thing with that, at least for me, was, I heard this from another podcast, it's pretty funny, it's called The Mindset Mentor. Um, mm. I know him. But he brought up a concept of like taking action regardless of how you feel and regardless of how confident you are. It's like you don't have to believe in yourself to take action. You just have to take action. Like would it be nice? Would it be nice to believe in yourself? Obviously. Right? It'd be great if you could have that conviction, have that confidence before you take action. But the reality is it's probably not for most people when they're first starting. And so being able to take action regardless of what you feel about yourself is a superpower within itself, right? So I just booked as many sales calls as I could, right? Strategy calls. Um, and I took them more in a perspective of like learning. So the perspective that I go with basically anything in life is the faster that I could fail, the faster that I can learn. And the faster that I can learn means the faster that I can win, right? The faster I can start changing people's lives. And so I reached out to everyone. Like I, I didn't really focus on a specific target audience, a specific persona. I reached out to all my connections that I had from high school, university, from like colleagues, everything. And I just hopped on calls, like thought about, you know, what their struggles were, if they have even the struggle. Um, and that's how I, that's how I kind of grew my confidence. And then I started mentoring people and then, yeah. I think in the beginning though, before I started the coaching business, I actually started mentoring people for free, uh, mm -hmm. just to test the waters a bit. But I realized it's pretty tough, um, especially because I didn't have a coach. I didn't know where I was going. And yeah, I think once I started that, I realized when you pay, you pay attention. And so if I was mentoring people for free, yeah, I was helping them out. I was giving them tips, but the reality is they have no skin in the game and it just it's just really difficult, like near impossible to take it seriously enough. And so I found that it was not really wasting both of our times, but in a sense, it wasn't the best use of our times. So. Yeah, that's really well said. Yeah, I've, 